I want to introduce a new word to you. Docile. Ready to accept, control, or instruction. Submissive. In order to be a great woman or man of God, you have to be humble. You have to be docile. Well, Kevin, back when I was younger, some people did some bad things to me. So if someone comes to me in a crazy way, I am going to defend myself. So I am going to argue, fuss, and raise hell as well. When I hear someone say that to me, that is telling me so many things about that person. That person's life is a living hell. It has to be. How can't it be? When you are choosing to live outside of God's rules and regulations, you are attracting much more negativity. When you are choosing to live outside of God's rules and regulations, you are attracting more negativity. So it doesn't matter what excuse that you give me. It doesn't matter whose fault it is. If you are not willing to be humble and docile, you are attracting much more negativity. It is true. It is so true. And let me say this too. Much of the Bible, it is telling us to be servants. Please listen to what I am saying before you turn your mind off. Place everything in context now. When you read much of the Bible, yes. This is why I am confused when I see people teach about the Bible, but live opposite of what it says. How can you be a really good teacher and know what the Bible says, but you are living opposite of it? Listen, much of the Bible, yes, is telling us to be servants of people. I am telling you, much of the Bible is telling us to be servants of people. I am not saying to do sin. I am not saying that. So if a sinful person is telling you to do something sinful, I am not saying that you have to do it. What I am saying that much of the Bible is telling us to be servants of people. Think about this, man, my Lord. When Jesus Christ came down to earth, what was he? He came down to serve. When Jesus Christ came down to earth, he came here to serve. We are to serve Jesus Christ, right? Yes. So if our master came down to serve, we are no greater than our master. So if he came down to serve, what should we be doing as well? We should be serving people as well. How can you say that you are willing to serve God, but you are not willing to serve people. You are being a hypocrite. God, I am willing to do whatever it is for you. But you see people that are in need. You see people that are hurting and you are not willing to intervene in their life. How can you or... People come to you and ask for help and you turn your head. That is being a hypocrite. 
what we do unto people, we are doing it unto God. What we are doing unto people, yes, we are doing it unto God. So how can you say that you are willing to serve God, but you turn your head when people ask for help? Well, Kevin, you know, that person gets on my nerves and they cause so many problems. Yes. They were trying to kill Jesus Christ so much, but he was still out there teaching people, no matter what people did to him. My Lord, if they persecuted Jesus Christ when he did not do anything wrong so when you don't do anything wrong and bad things happen to you how can you complain about it we are no greater than our master so if it happened to him of course it is going to happen to us to us I believe the Apostle Paul spoke about that, about us going through persecutions. So I pray that this makes sense. Be docile. Learn this word. Try to be this way every day. You have to be docile. You have to be submissive. You have to back down even when you know that other person is wrong. We have to be docile. So let go of your pride. Let go of your arrogance. You are not as special as you think you are. And bow down. Bow down to people. Be humble. Be caring. Be loving. Be empathetic. Be compassionate. So I pray that this makes sense. God bless you.